guys, today you're gonna watch me make jasmine butterfly pea honey lemonade tea. This recipe today is a special version of my famous drink, fresh lemon and honey, that I sell in my shops. The butterfly pea flower can be seen growing abundantly in the Thailand countryside. I picked up a few bags on my last trip. I noticed that both there and in Vietnam, they use this natural blue dye as a food coloring to things like rice, desserts, and drinks. I love Southeast Asia, and I had such a great time visiting so many countries over there on my last trip. One rice plantation we went to had butterfly pea flowers. I was actually able to pick some of the pods and save them, and I'm hoping that one day I will be able to plant them in my own garden and be able to cultivate my own butterfly pea flowers. You can also make this drink using fresh flowers, but you just wanna make sure to cut off the base so the flavor doesn't become bitter. Here are the ingredients that you will need, and I'll be sure to put the conversions in the description below. One handful of butterfly pea flowers, which is approximately two grams. One flat tablespoon of jasmine green tea leaves, preferably loose leaf if possible. A good amount of hot water in your kettle. Two tablespoons of sugar. One tablespoon of honey. The juice of one lemon, or approximately two tablespoons. If you're enjoying my video so far, please hit that like button below and subscribe. Thanks so much. First, we're going to boil a kettle. We are going to brew our butterfly pea flowers in about 75 milliliters of hot water, which should be 75 degrees Celsius. So first I'm going to measure out 75 milliliters of the hot water, and then I'm going to check the temperature with a thermometer probe to make sure it's at 75 degrees Celsius. So because it's too hot, we can either wait for it to cool down a little bit, or we can add a little bit of cold water, but we definitely wanna make sure we get the temperature correct. Okay, so it's at the right temperature now. You can already see right away, just by giving it a little bit of a swirl, that it's turning the water blue. And I'm just gonna pop a little lid on top just to keep the warm air inside. And we're gonna let this brew for seven minutes, stirring it halfway. Next, we're going to put a flat tablespoon of jasmine green tea leaves and brew those for also seven minutes in 150 milliliters of water at 70 degrees Celsius. There are many varieties of jasmine green tea leaves. Today, I'm going to be using this one. It comes from my friend May, who lives in Vietnam, and her family owns the tea farm that this came from. So first, we're going to measure in our 150 milliliters of the hot water. And again, we want to check the temperature to make sure it doesn't exceed 70 degrees Celsius. We definitely wanna check the temperature before we put our green tea leaves into the hot water. The reason for this is that the green tea hasn't been processed or oxidized or gone through a manipulation process to get a really, really dark leaf. It still is in a very natural state. So when we brew it at a lower temperature between 65 to 75 degrees Celsius, we're bringing out the flavor and we're just brewing the natural tenderness of the leaf. Now, if we had a darker tea, like a black tea or a smoky oolong, we definitely wanna go for a higher temperature maybe like 80, 85, maybe even 90, because that can withstand higher temperatures. But for a jasmine green tea, stick on the safe side between 65 to 70 degrees Celsius for about seven minutes. Okay, so we've reached the temperature. We're gonna go ahead and put in one tablespoon of the jasmine green tea, and we're gonna brew it for seven minutes. Mmm, beautiful. So while we're waiting for our butterfly pea flowers to brew and our jasmine green tea, we can go ahead and prepare for this next step. In the container you're going to be straining your green tea into, we can go ahead and put in two tablespoons of sugar. And one tablespoon of honey. Thank you. 
And next we can go ahead and press our lemon. And again, we need about two tablespoons of lemon juice. I find that a lemon about this size yields me about two and a half. This is about a medium to small size lemon. So very carefully using a sharp knife, you want to cut the lemon in half. Mmm, that smells really nice. Now, of course, there's many ways to extract the juice out of a lemon. Uh, you could hold it and do this with a fork, or if you have one of those little extractor things that you squeeze it in there and you push really hard. I happen to have one of these, and uh, it comes apart. You take this side, pop it in this way, which is quite counterintuitive, but believe me, that's the way you do it. So you put it in this way, and then you put this on and you squeeze together. What this does is, this bit pushes it down, and of course it's locked in, so it keeps pushing it farther and farther, and it sort of inverts the lemon, if you will. It squeezes out all of the juices. This device we use in my shops because it's really fast and efficient and it does a great job. And also, none of the seeds fall into the drink. It's really, really amazing and honestly, I don't know what I did before this. This gets out every last bit of juice. And then what I like to do after I've squeezed both of them individually is put that last one back on top and squeeze it one more time. These were definitely flattened and I think all of the juice came out of them. A tablespoon tends to be about 15 milliliters. This one ended up yielding about 40. So our two tablespoons should only be 30. This has about 10 extra, so I'll just hold it back for this recipe. But of course, feel free at home if you have extra lemon juice, you can always add it into your drink. Okay, so our seven minutes is up. We're gonna go ahead and drain out our butterfly pea flowers. Believe it or not, you can probably get one more light blue from these flowers. So I'm actually gonna save mine and just throw them in one of my jasmine green teas that I make tomorrow. Okay, and our timer is up for our green tea as well. All of the loose leaves have really just folded out and really taken over this area of space. It's nice and brewed and ready to go. Mm. And of course, it smells amazing. And we're going to pour this directly into our honey and sugar mixture. So right now is your best opportunity to go ahead and dissolve the honey and sugar into the jasmine green tea. Okay, and now that we have our three main items ready, let's go ahead and put it in our glass. Pouring our drinks into the glass is a three-step process. First the tea, then the blue pea flower, then the lemon. I filled my glass about halfway with ice, and of course, a lot of it will melt, and that is okay. And just because I have this cool glass today that has this little thing that I can go like that and keep it in the fridge, I'm going to go ahead and use this funnel in order to get the beverage in correctly. Okay, and next, very carefully, I'm going to pour in the blue pea flower. That looks pretty cool, guys, check it out. Just this part alone is super cool. And the reason why it's doing this is just simply because the liquids below are a lot heavier than the liquids above. And so basically what's happening is the pea flower juice is just sort of sitting on the top layer, if you will, of that honey and sugar mixture. Any liquid that has a lot of sugar in it tends to be a lot heavier than obviously just a sort of brewed liquid on top of it. So of course you're getting that really strong layered effect, which looks really nice. You could of course just stop here if you wanted and drink the jasmine green tea with the butterfly pea flower mixed in, just give it a really, really good shake. But we're gonna go ahead and turn it purple and make it into a butterfly pea jasmine tea lemonade and take it up a notch. So now we're going to add our lemon juice, which will now create the blue to turn purple. Let's check it out. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of my lemon juice. Super cool guys, check that out. So if you can see that really cool layer, it starts really bright pinky purpley, goes a little bit more reddish maroon, then we touch on a tiny bit of a dark, dark purple, 
get into a blue, and then right away we go into the green yellow tea. Wow, guys, this drink looks beautiful. I mean, I know it's a little difficult to see it with this lighting, but let me show you a few pictures here. You can see the layers are so obvious with the purple, the blue, and the yellow. This drink is like a piece of art. It would be a great opportunity if you wanted to use this as a science experiment with your children and you could talk about the different levels of weight within the liquids and you know why is the blue turn purple when you add the acidity from the lemon and just a lot of really cool things like that. I think this drink is very, very versatile. Not only does it look cool, but it's a lot of fun too. Well guys, the real moment of truth within this drink. Let's see how it tastes. So of course we wanna shake this up or give it a really good stir before we drink it in order to make sure that all of the flavors are combined. Because I have it in this glass, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lid on and give it a quick shake. Okay, here we go. That looks like a purple tea lemonade that I wanna drink. Let's give it a try. Cheers to those warm summer happy day vibes. Mm. Oh wow, that is so refreshing. That tastes amazing. Like you have no idea what the flavor combination is like until you just take that first sip. Mm. Wow, this is so refreshing. If I could just convey to you how nice ice cold it is and it's really sweet. It's got that lemon and jasmine tea flavor. This is really, really amazing. It truly is a lemonade with a little bit of tea. It's got a nice level of sweetness to it. And that honey, I definitely get a flavor of it towards the end. It kind of is there in the beginning as a really sweetness. And then all of a sudden, you wait a couple seconds and you get that honey flavor. It's a really great combination of a drink. I honestly think I could drink this whole thing right now, but the cool thing is, because this glass jar has a little lid on it, you can actually leave it in the fridge overnight and then just drink it again the next day. Maybe if you have a little bit of mint or rosemary or lemongrass, you could just pop it in there and leave it overnight and that'll really give it a little bit of extra kick of flavor. And if you make this for guests, I wouldn't be surprised if they actually think there might be blueberries in it that gave it that color. Color. So why not pop a few in when you have guests over and then that will make it look extra special. But just the way this is, minus the addition of any herbs, this tastes absolutely amazing. And it's a great way to get antioxidants from the tea and vitamin C from the fresh lemon. If I'm wanting a tea lemonade, this is the recipe I'm gonna go for. Well guys, thanks for joining me today as I made this refreshing jasmine butterfly pea honey lemonade tea. Please be sure to leave a comment below and let me know, are you planning on making this drink? Did you think it's super cool? Imagine a drink that went yellow and blue and turned to purple. It's like a science experiment. And while you're there, be sure to click that like button and hit subscribe. I bring you a brand new drink video every week. See you soon.